Hello everyone, I am now back home. Figured I'd drink some Venom G Fuel to start off the day while also wearing Venom Clone. Got these Venom socks on, just... Yeah, I'm dressed for the occasion. But I cannot tell y'all what I'm going to say later in the video. So the video y'all are about to see, I recorded at 7 in the morning and it is now currently 2.55. So yeah, I just got home bought uh spider-man 2 the launch edition and um uh, yeah and i can't wait to play it and i hope y'all enjoy the video so the new spider-man game is out now huh yeah i uh <laughs> Man, did they even turn off the freaking? Hello, everyone. It's your Korean channel, and yes, Spider-Man 2 just came out. Um, I'm going to pick up the physical copy um, at Target um, sometime within the next hour or two. I think. I hope y'all are enjoying the game so far. Um, because obviously I haven't played it yet. So right now I'm making this video as a little story time for y'all. So a few months back, um, it was around the time Scream 6 was released on DVD. And I never paid attention to this specific video game that came out during the PS4 days. And it is Cyberpunk 2077. Now I got it because I saw the trailer for it and the song Never Fade Away, the dialogue, Everything in that trailer had the emotional beats, um, emotional dialogue. It's something that would catch my attention. And then I saw a couple gameplays for it. I'm like, I want to try it out. But I was aware that people have had issues with Cyberpunk 2077 ever since its release. There were a lot of bugs that needed to be fixed. There were a lot of T-posing in the game, basically. Uh, so yeah, I was aware of the situation that people were having, but because of how the the PlayStation 5, which is what I have right here, because of how I have the PS5, it's a newer model that's able to handle the contents of the game. So I was thinking that I'm okay to play the game. And within a couple months, I actually was able to beat the story mode. And personally, I loved the game. I, I liked it because I liked the cyberpunk feel because there's like Blade Runner and stuff like that. That's part of the reason why I enjoyed Cyberpunk 2077 and not only the storyline um like one of my biggest issues with the game is that like yeah you do need like more story to understand what's going on but there's a lot less action in the game or well, story motorized. There are not a lot of there's not a lot of action in the game. It's mainly just sit there and talk. But besides that, I enjoyed it. I, I loved the game for what it was, uh, despite its bugs and all. And there were a couple issues where the game would would crash and then I have to start the game over again. But this is where the cyberpunk story goes in a pause. Now I've never played any of the Insomniac Spider-Man games. And man, I wanted to so badly. Until the day I got the uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween Steelbook that I did a review on but I haven't uploaded yet. I got the Game of the Year edition for Insomniac Spider-Man 1 and the Ultimate Edition for Spider-Man and Miles Morales. And within six days, I was able to complete the story mode for both games. And within a month, I was able to complete all the side missions on both games. So because of that, I'm thinking, oh, I'm hyped. I finally got to play the games. I'm caught up with the story. I can't wait for Spider-Man 2 to come out. So really because how there wasn't really anything else to do in the Spider-Man games, I just got bored. So then I just said, you know what? Why don't I revisit Cyberpunk again? And that is the worst mistake I could have ever made. I'm playing the game, doing side missions, and then all of a sudden, my screen cuts to black. The lights on the system aren't on. The lights on my controller aren't on. So I pressed the PlayStation button on my controller. I didn't hear a beep. So I gave it a few minutes, I stood up, went to the system, beeps, doesn't turn on. And when I try e ejecting the disc. Wouldn't eject the disc, wouldn't turn on. So I've tried every single way 
to hard reset your PS5 and to turn it on in general, like like tap the button multiple times or plug in your controller to the system, unplug the outlet, use a different outlet. I've done multiple different ways. It would be nothing would happen. So just a couple days ago, I talked to um, the main tech guy at Target. I explained to him my situation and he said that he had the exact same situation and I think he said it, it was either because of um, Call of Duty, I think that's what it was. I'm not entirely sure but he said that he went through the same situation with his PS5 at one point. What happened is that the motherboard is fried. Meaning all of my progress on multiple games are gone and I have to get it fixed. And no, I don't have PlayStation Plus to get it fixed because uh, one of my friends named Mac, he he suggested playstation plus but i don't have internet connection for any of my consoles so because of that i'm screwed so if y'all have been keeping up to date with my videos i got this playstation back in january and i still have a one year warranty on my system so i'm gonna be able to send it out to have them get it fixed and i asked them if they can take the cyberpunk disc out and still send it back. They said, yeah, they can do it. So I'm like, all right, cool. But it's going to take me a while to finally play Spider-Man 2 because the last time we had an issue with the PlayStation console was with the PlayStation 3. We sort of had a similar situation to uh, my PS5 here. We ended up chipping it back. It took them three months to fix, send it back home. Now, obviously we don't know if it's gonna be the same situation like the PS3 where they're gonna take a while. And the thing is in my head, I think about like literally a few months back they were saying that there was a shortage of parts to fix or build PS5s. It may not be the case now, but just probably it's like I'm worried I'm probably not going to be able to play the game for at least a couple months. And that's another thing too how the main tech guy said that the system is fried. What's funny is that when I walked up to my system, my system wasn't even hot. Now like the past couple times, yeah, it's been hot and it's probably because Miles Morales has been playing on 60 frames per second and 4K quality. <laughs> but I don't really understand why it did it. But because of my situation with the PlayStation, why did that rhyme? I might be disappearing from Instagram, Twitter, or X, whoever it is now, uh, Reddit. YouTube I might disappear for a bit. I'm still gonna be making um, videos for YouTube so my channel can stay active. But I'm probably not going to be that much active online as I normally am because I'm always on Instagram. Sometimes I'm on Twitter and every now and then I'll go on Reddit. And I normally go on to keep up with the movie news and when it comes to YouTube, like what's trending, what are like what topics am I supposed to talk about for today? So yeah, I don't know how quick the process is for them to fix my PlayStation. But this it's freaking irritating. Because this situation happened literally a week before the, the game comes out today. But anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off here. Um I'm gonna see if I can try to go to Target to pick it up before people start stealing them all. And, uh, yeah, hopefully y'all aren't having issues with your PS5. And yeah, even though the, um, even though PC players, they can play Spider-Man, um, whenever they make a PC release, of course, and, um, Xbox, obviously people are not going to be able to play it. Speaking of Xbox, I've been thinking about picking up, um, an Xbox system, um, because my girlfriend has, um, pretty much convinced me that it's somewhat better than PlayStation. This is not me throwing shade on PlayStation. I love PlayStation. I grew up with them ever since I was very little. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe because it helps motivate me and bring more content to guys in the future. Ring the notification bell to be notified of our upload new videos. Share this video with your friends and comment down below. What did y'all think uh, about my situation with PlayStation? And um, then let me know what are y'all's thoughts on uh, Spider-Man 2 so far. Uh, just don't spoil anything because that's part of the reason why I'm going to get off of social media I don't want to be spoiled for anything at all because it's like if that's the case if I wanted to be spoiled I won't have played these two games in preparation for the new game. So I I don't want to get spoiled at all. But yeah, I'll see you on a bit. See ya